Good morning, you spicy bean. If you guys are new, I'm Harriet. I realized I never introduce myself in my videos. And so some of you just don't probably don't know my name. I'm heading to Europe in a few days. I know that I don't shut up about it, but like it's just what's happening in my life right now. So I'm kind of in that lead up period where I'm like doing double the amount of work because I'm trying to get ahead for my colleagues. I'm like doing all of the errands I've put off <laughs> over the last month. Um, it's all self-inflicted, but I am just like quite busy at the moment. And this weekend, today is Saturday, and this weekend is like my crunch time to seriously get pretty much all of my packing done, um, just do all of that kind of stuff. Also, I just want to say really quick, I hate nothing more than when someone's like going away or going to a festival and they're like, I'm so stressed, like I'm so busy. And then the shit that they're doing is like nail appointments and like packing. I'm like, yeah, you're busy, but you're not actually busy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's all self-inflicted. So I just want to say this vlog is going to have that vibe because that just is my life right now. Um, but I'm definitely not complaining. Like I'm so grateful, obviously, to be going overseas. If you guys don't know, my family are all British. So I have two British parents and all of my extended family live over in England. So we are actually going primarily for my cousin's wedding. She lives in London. And then because we'll already be over there as a family, we're gonna go and do a trip around like France and Italy and just enjoy because obviously travel's not really been a thing for the last few years. So I'm really, 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 really excited. Anyway, I'm running late, so I'm gonna have a quick pre-workout. I have an 8.30 gym class. It's now 8.07, so I really need to get a move on. And then my gym is in the same area as, um, some clothes that I got altered. If you guys saw, I think it was a vlog a few weeks ago now, I got some clothes altered, so I'm gonna go pick those up. I'm gonna go pick up my contacts, and then I'm gonna drive to my parents' place to pick up a suitcase, because I don't really have one that's gonna work. So I'm gonna do all of those errands in one go. By the way, if you guys don't take pre-workout and you do like weights or anything like that, it is seriously a game changer. It makes my workout so much better and I can go for longer and I just have so much more energy. It's crazy. Let's go run some errands and I will see you guys when we're home. Um, a little bit annoying, but the altering place don't have my clothes ready yet. They never gave me a time. They just said come on Saturday, so I don't know, I guess, yeah, I can't be mad. Like they're just doing their thing and that's all good. Um, but it's a little bit annoying because I'm like in the area. And so now I have to come back in an hour and a half, which is just the most annoying amount of time, but it's fine. I will make it work. Okay, we're in my parents' wardrobe and I have these two suitcases on the floor, which I think are the ones I'm gonna go with. Okay guys, I'm home. I've made myself a coffee. I went for an iced coffee, even though it's winter because I'm quirky like that. But I'm sure you guys have seen this poached egg hack on TikTok, but on the off chance that you haven't, I need to show you because I always thought that making poached eggs was like impossible and literally the only place you could ever get it is at restaurants. And then this gorgeous, stunning, amazing, intelligent queen on TikTok who changed my life told me how to make poached eggs and it's so easy and I want to pass on the wisdom to you in case you haven't heard. So you literally just need a strainer and a pot of boiling water. So literally all that you do is you crack your eggs into the strainer and then basically what's going to happen is there's going to be like little drips that come out of the bottom and that apparently is the part of the egg that kind of like floats around and makes the foam. But you don't need vinegar, you don't need to make a whirlpool, like you literally. You just pour them straight in and they separate automatically. And then once your timer goes off, you literally just like give them a shake. Look at that, it's the perfect poached egg. This is the true test. It's perfect, it's literally restaurant quality those eggs were heaven so i have got my luggage i <gasps> i just realized that i forgot something from my parents house thank god then that i have to go back to get my 
clothes from the Ultra, the tail or whatever it's called because I have to remember to get my dad's medication, oh my god. The one thing I'm wondering about this luggage is like if I want to fit everything into this carry-on, which like I think I'll be able to because it's a really good size, but the only issue is it doesn't, it's not double-sided, like it's just one big hole and I don't know how that would go like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pack like that so I'm wondering if I should go and like buy myself a new suitcase because this is mum and dad's anyway like I don't own a suitcase so maybe it's a good idea but obviously I would like to not spend the money but I don't know I feel like it would be a massive game changer if I could have a check uh, like a carry-on bag that was double-sided because I really think I'd be able to fit everything so maybe I should do that I have decided that I'm gonna go and buy myself a suitcase I think it's gonna ease a lot of stress having two compartments as stupid as that might sound to some people I do think it's kind of a game-changer okay guys I just got home and that was actually so unbelievably successful. I found the perfect suitcase, which is the perfect size. It's like definitely small because it's obviously cabin baggage, but it's a really good size and it has like external pockets. And then on the inside, it's like super spacious. It has two different compartments, so many pockets. So I feel so good about that. And it was 50% off which I'm just so happy with. Like the universe truly had my back today. I'm genuinely so excited. And then I walked past this shop and I've been thinking about what bag I'm gonna take like to carry my passport. And I found this, which is the perfect travel bag. Like I'm just gonna take this all over Europe. I'm pretty sure I can wear this a bunch of different ways. I could definitely wear this as like a fanny pack if I tighten the strap. But seriously, it fits my phone. I'll be able to put my passport, my lip balm, and like my really important things in here and carry this. And then I'll have my carry-on and I'll take a little bag for my laptop as well. Literally like perfect. I'm so happy and I'm just so grateful that I actually did end up going and doing that. I also remembered to get my the thing that my dad needed and then I also got my clothes back, the ones that I got altered. I thrifted this pair of pants in LA, you guys might remember. They're so cute and I thought this would be the perfect pant to take to Europe. I also got these pants taken in because they were a little big. These ones I thrifted in my most recent thrift haul, which was like a Sydney thrift haul and their red corduroy pants and they're so cute. So I got those taken in. And then I also got this pair of black silk pants taken up at the bottom. I really need to learn how to alter my own clothes because I would save a lot of money, but I'm just not at a place where I feel like I can ruin <laughs> good clothes at the moment. But these pants, I didn't thrift, but I got secondhand from this website called Hunter Markets that I love. So my top priority tasks, I have to, Make a thumbnail for the video that's going live tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna do that a little bit later, like on the couch. What I think I'm actually gonna do is start pulling out clothes that I'm gonna pack and just like generally getting sorted. I'm not flying till Wednesday and it's only Saturday, so I like definitely don't normally pack this early, but I do just feel like I have a lot on. I have my last day in the office on Monday at my current job, and then there's a chance that I will also be editing for my new job on Tuesday and then I leave literally first thing Wednesday morning so I just want to get as organized as I can so let's go and like figure out what I'm gonna wear in Europe as much as I love you guys and as much as I know that some of you will want to see exactly what I'm packing and like why I'm packing it I am going to speed through this but just so you know the general vibe is very much basics like white t-shirts, black t-shirts, shorts, very simple, and then a few fun colorful pieces because I wanna make sure that every piece that I'm packing has like five different ways that I can wear it. white linen pants 
but I think I'm going to take these ones instead. There's absolutely zero point in me having two pairs of linen pants. And even though this color is the most impractical, it's like a really fun pair of pants that I think are a lot more wearable out for dinner, also like by the pool. Um, I do want to have one pair of pants kind of like this because I can also wear these on the plane if I don't want to be in track pants, but I also don't want to be in denim shorts. They're very comfortable um, and very breathable. So I think I'm going to take these as like my one pair of pants. I'm literally not bringing jeans or anything. I'm just bringing shorts and then this pair of pants. Okay, I've made some serious progress. This side is all of my clothes. I need to go through my list and double check that I haven't forgotten anything because I actually originally forgot to pack this, which is the dress that I'm wearing to the wedding. I also need to pack swimmers. And then this side is literally still empty because I need to do toiletries, underwear and all of my shoes will be in here as well and like makeup i don't think i packed too much but i also don't feel like stressed that i've missed anything i always you always could pack more like on a holiday i feel like you always could just throw in a few things but i was really intentional about what we were doing and what i actually would need so i have a few nice tops for going out but they're not like nice nice i can just wear them with denim shorts but also they're wearable for every day i have a few little dresses which are the same vibe I can throw on sneakers and they'll be casual or I can wear them out for dinner. I have the wedding dress and then literally the rest of it is like plain t-shirts, singlets, crop tops, things that I can just wear with denim shorts and feel really comfortable. Okay, this is all my makeup. That is liquid, etc. which is honestly most of it. I also don't really know what constitutes a gel so I'm just like playing it on the safe side. Okay, I did so much off camera because I honestly got so weirdly overwhelmed about the liquid situation just because I have like three separate clear bags of liquids that I have to bring and they're all in different places so I was just trying to figure out logistically what worked best but I'm all packed up um, again like there's some things I'll need to add last minute I'm definitely going to check through this the night before and make sure that everything's all good but it's honestly looking pretty good to me so this is my bag here is my toiletries and inside of this i have two clear bags and then this will be my second hand luggage bag which like i'm honestly unsure if they're even gonna let me do that but if i have to check this in it's all good all right we're gonna weigh this bad boy first okay so i weighed myself and then i weighed myself with my bag because I tried to weigh it on its own and it just, the scale wasn't recognizing it. And I believe it's 11.6 ish. So I need to figure out what my actual requirements are. I'm pretty sure there's one flight where I'm allowed 10, but my mom has said she's over there right now, just for context. And she said that it should be fine. So I feel like that's all good, hopefully. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I have just had a really nice chill morning. I lay in bed with a coffee. I watched YouTube. It was literally so lovely. I just ate brekkie as you guys would have seen and now I'm gonna get ready for the day. So my plan for today has changed a little bit because I was originally blocking off today, which is Sunday and then Tuesday to edit for this YouTuber that I'm working with but she actually doesn't need me before I leave, which is really, really good, honestly, because I just had so much to do. Um, so now I have like basically two full days of free time. So I'm spacing out all of my tasks now across those two days. So the plan for today is I'm gonna go and walk up to the chemist because I ran out of my moisturizer and my cleanser, which I realized yesterday when I was packing all of my cosmetics. And then while I'm up there, I'm also gonna grab a new foundation and a new concealer because I'm also pretty much out of those. And then we'll come back here and I'm gonna film a video, which I'm really excited about because I wasn't really anticipating like having the time to film a video. And I am actually gaining so many new subscribers at the moment. So if you guys are new, welcome. I'm literally so happy and so grateful to have you here. But a lot of people have stumbled across my influencer outfits video. That video is doing so well. Again, I'm so grateful. And so I do want to make sure that I'm 
keeping up with the fashion content as well as vlogs because obviously a lot of people do subscribe for the fashion content. So I'm gonna film a little fashion video today. I need to figure out what the concept is gonna be, but um, that is something I'm gonna think about on my walk up to the shops. This is my outfit. So these pants were actually uh, one of the pairs that I got tailored. I got these ones taken in. Also, really randomly, I have such a sore foot. Like my right foot is really fucking sore and I don't know why. And I googled it and it could be this thing like a strained muscle or something and they said I need to rest it but also I'm getting on a plane for 24 hours and so I'm not gonna be active and so I was planning on like walking heaps over the next few days and just really keeping active and now I might have to rest my foot like what <laughs> Okay, I just got home. Sorry for this terrible angle, but I need to just... Anyway, so I got a new foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match. I've heard really amazing things about this. It's non-comedogenic, it's oil-free, um, and it also has a pump. And then I got this True Match um, concealer, which is a shade or two lighter than the foundation, which is what I like because it brightens up my under eyes and whatnot. Guys, I also bought a powder, but I don't think she put it in my bag. And I don't really have time to go back up and get it, which is such a bummer because I'm pretty sure I paid for it. Okay guys, there's no doubt that this is just like a little bit too dark for my face. But in terms of the actual foundation, I just blended this in with my fingers. And I don't know how well it's like showing up on camera, but this is flawless. This is like has the nicest glow. My face feels so soft. It literally blended like a dream. This is 10 times better than the Maybelline Fit Me, just literally off first impressions. So I'm like so happy with this. Um, I do think with a tiny bit of a tan, it will look a lot more natural, but I also can just blend it in with my light concealer um, to make it a little bit lighter, but I'm so impressed with this. Okay guys, I massively fucked up my first ever attempt at contouring. Um, it looks so bad, so I'm just gonna go over it with foundation. I honestly like should have watched a tutorial. I just like slapped it right above my cheekbone and I was like, let's blend. But I put way too much on and I think this shade is way too orange for me. Anyway, just keeping it real. Sometimes it happens. All right, this is the finished makeup. I definitely think the foundation is a little bit too dark, but I'm loving the glow and the vibe. I feel like this foundation is really good and definitely worth the hype. So I'm actually so happy that I bought it. But anyway, I'm gonna film and I don't really think there's anything else super travel related that I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I'm gonna try and really just like rest. I might do a little yoga, just kind of get ready for the flight. But Tuesday is gonna be a really big day um, just in terms of like cleaning the apartment, packing up all of my stuff. So I will see you guys there. <laughs> Probably the perfect time to say good morning. I just finished packing up my suitcase, which feels insane. Like everything feels real. I'm sure I've been so annoying this whole video, just like, I'm going to Europe. But like, I truly cannot believe that the day has come. I leave tomorrow, which is so crazy, absolutely wild. And my online check-in for the flight opens in, I think like 50 minutes, which is crazy. But I've just finished packing, I'll show you guys. So this is the suitcase all packed up. I'll take you guys really quickly through. It's quite hard to show 
um, everything because I have like rolled and packed everything so tight. But on this side, I have all of my shoes and then I have some clothes. I wish everything was like in a nice place, but it's just not. So I have three pairs of shorts that I'm bringing. I have an oversized t-shirt which I'm gonna sleep in and also I can wear like around the pool then I have a pair of heels a pair of sandals my sneak it like my trainers and then my Birkenstocks I have one Birkenstock on this side because it didn't fit in this compartment is underwear and bras throughout here I just have like dresses swimsuits I have a hat the dress I'm wearing to the wedding and then down this area is like a bunch of tops, singlets, and t-shirts. But the one thing that I realized for my long haul flight, so I'm flying from Sydney to Perth, which is just another major Australian city, but you literally fly across the country and that's about five hours. And then I get off at Perth and then I do Perth directly to London, which is like a 17 and a half hour flight, which is quite, a long flight but strangely enough my luggage like my carry-on allowance for the the long-haul flight so like the flight over to Europe is the lowest out of all of my other flights so when I'm flying from like you know London to France for example I'm allowed I believe it's like 10 to 15 kilograms somewhere in that range and for the Sydney to London flight, I'm only allowed seven. So basically what I've decided to do for the long haul is I'm just gonna check in my bag. Okay, the bathroom with the toilet is officially clean. And if you guys hate cleaning, like I do, because does anyone actually like cleaning? I don't know, maybe you do, maybe it's your thing. It's not my thing. But my number one tip is start with the room that you hate cleaning, because then you'll get it out of the way. And then every room just gets progressively better and better as you get more tired. So you're not saving the worst till last. I would never do it that way personally. So hopefully that helps. But now I'm moving on to the bathroom, which is always like the dirtiest room because of the shower and there's a whole lot to clean. And I'm really gonna try and get in there nice and deep today. So we'll see how I go. But there's also like bugs all over the roof. Okay, I'm like halfway done. I've finished up in the toilet as well as the shower, like the bathroom. And I've just wiped down a bunch of surfaces around the apartment and now I'm in the living room. The biggest task I think probably of the day will just be the vacuuming. Um, but other than that, I'm literally just like wiping down surfaces. So it's actually quite therapeutic. I've just got some music in and I'm just vibing. I will say though, there is a storm front rolling in, which I was not expecting. And if you guys remember, I said I was gonna try and go outside to like read in the sunshine, but there's no sunshine anymore. But hopefully it comes back out. And if not, that's okay. I will just do some yoga and maybe go for a little walk um, in the rain. I'm not sure. finished up with the cleaning and the vacuuming and everything I didn't film it because um, this vlog is long enough but I'll just quickly show you honestly vacuuming okay it looks really messy because of the plants but I promise you it's not messy vacuuming makes the biggest difference I'm so happy that I made time for this ew why is this blanket so dirty basically now I've just set up everything that I need to take in my hand luggage like my passports I'm traveling with my British and my Australian passport because it's a lot easier to travel around Europe on a British passport from memory i'm honestly just in shock that this is happening tomorrow um but i'm so excited and i think i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day unfortunately there is like definitely a storm you guys will not be able to see it from there but it's raining um which are we surprised at this point 
if you don't know, if you don't live in Sydney or you haven't kept up with any of my previous vlogs, it has literally been raining for the last like month on and off. Just every week it'll rain for like three days and then it'll stop for a day and then it will rain again for a week. Like it's crazy. But anyway, I'm all packed up to go. So I'm going to love you guys and leave you guys. Um, I definitely am going to try and film some videos when I'm over there but I'm also gonna really try and have a nice holiday have a break but I hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching and for all of your genuinely like heartwarming comments I've had so many new people join the channel recently and just leave the most beautiful comments and I seriously just love you and I appreciate you so much and if you've ever left me a comment it honestly means so much to me so thank you i love you and i will see you guys next week with a new video bye